Good morning friends I hope everyone is doing well I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding If you really like my teaching please press the like button share the videos with your friends and subscribe to my channel even press the bell button to get the regular updates In this video I want to discuss about synchronous and asynchronous transmission in this why we need the synchronous and asynchronous transmission is between a device to another device or from source to destination when you are transferring the data you need the synchronization between these two devices otherwise the communication is will not work properly let's say that i am delivering the lecture and you are listening to the lecture if there is no synchronization between me and you then you will not able to understand whatever the concepts i am delivering so that's why from source to destination the synchronization is very important for a proper communication this synchronization can be achieved using synchronous transmission and also in asynchronous transmission now how it will work in synchronous and then we will discuss how it will work in asynchronous transmission coming to the synchronous communication you have a source and we have a destination using the clock pulses we will synchronize the source and destination okay now you can ask me sir if the distance between the source and destination is very high then the clocks may not be same between the source and destination am i right that problem we will call it as a clock skew problem am i right clock skew problem because if the source and destination have different clocks then we will call the problem as a clock skew problem if the distance between source and destination is very high then we will have this clock skew problem then the synchronization will not achieve then we we have went for asynchronous communication now in asynchronous communication the synchronization can be achieved using two mechanisms one is strobe control signals one is strobe control signals and another one is hand shaking mechanism now these two mechanisms are further divided into source initiated strobe control signals and second one is destination initiated strobe signal similarly in the hand shaking mechanism also we have further classified into source initiated hand shaking mechanism and second one is destination initiated hand shaking mechanism so the synchronization between the source and destination can be achieved either using the strobe control signal or hand shaking mechanism in the asynchronous communication now first we will discuss about the strobe control signals then we will discuss about the hand shaking mechanism as i said earlier we have source initiated strobe signals and we have destination initiated strobe signal by the name itself you can understand that here the strobe signal will be forwarded by the source whereas here the strobe signal will be sent by the destination now how it will happen we will discuss we have a source and we have a destination first step one is that the source will send the data using the data bus as you know that we have address bus data bus and control bus what is the purpose of address bus to transfer the address from one device to another device similarly the data bus is useful for transferring the data from one device to another device the control signals will be transferred with the help of control bus so from source to destination i will transfer the data using the data bus then once the data is started transmitting source will send a signal called strobe signal to the destination what is the purpose of the strobe signal the destination will understand that okay the source have started transferring the data i should receive it are you able to understand it or not so this concept we will call it as source initiated strobe signal now coming to the destination initiated strobe signal we have a source and we have a destination now first destination will send the strobe signal 
here destination is sending the strobe signal that is the step one here data is sending by the source that is the step one and then strobe signal is sent by the source whereas here destination is sending the strobe signal asking for the data then source will send the data this is the step two i hope you have understood the difference between the source initiated strobe signals and the destination initiated strobe signal here what is the problem the source does not know whether the destination has received the data or not there is no acknowledgement system in the strobe control signal to avoid that problem we have the handshaking mechanism the handshaking mechanism is again classified into two types one is source initiated handshaking mechanism and second one is destination initiated handshaking mechanism now how it will work in the source initiated handshaking mechanism is we have a source and we have a destination okay first the source will send the data and it also will send a signal called valid data okay the source is sending the data and it also sends the signal that this is a valid data once the destination has received this data it will send an acknowledgement to the source this is the step three once the source receives this acknowledgement it will understand that whatever the data i have sent to the destination was delivered successfully okay so that's why this communication is reliable when it comes to the destination initiated handshaking mechanism the source is there and the destination is there here so destination first it will send that whatever the data you have sent let's take it in previous one the data was transferred between source and destination now destination want the data then destination will send that i am ready to receive the data am i right it will send the signal to the source that i am ready to receive the data you please send the data then source will send the data and also it will send the signal called valid data so this is the destination initiated handshake mechanism and this is source initiated handshake mechanism i hope you have understood the synchronous transmission and asynchronous transmission in asynchronous transmission the synchronization can be achieved with the help of two techniques such as strobe control signal technique and another one is handshaking mechanism if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment session i will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours thank you for watching my video have a nice day